Hello and welcome to one more video of the series Salesforce Concepts to Know as a Salesforce Tester. Before we proceed with today's topic, let me tell you a bit about the playlist that I'm talking about. So, you know, as you can see on the screen right now, this is a playlist wherein we have n number of videos regarding the Salesforce concepts that you need to know as a Salesforce Tester. Now, you might have this question in your mind that, okay, this all looks good, but you know what I do see a lot of content regarding Salesforce learning and everything on the internet on YouTube. So what is special about your series or your playlist, right? And uh, that is a fair enough question and I'll answer it logically. So uh, as per my research and as per my uh, knowledge on the on the internet right now, there is very less or I, I would say almost no content available on the internet in regarding Salesforce domain pertaining to this testing vertical i'll simplify it so there is no uh, practical course or no particular course wherein you are taught the salesforce concepts from the perspective of a salesforce tester right so the beauty of this particular course or of this particular series is that we cover only salesforce topics that are required as a salesforce tester and we do not go in depth wherein you know uh, as, as much as knowledge as a developer requires no we do not do that we only go into depth for a topic which is required as a salesforce tester that is it so that's this is what differentiates it so consider this as one stop destination if you want to learn salesforce and switch into salesforce domain as a tester cool now let's start with today's topic let's let's discuss about types of salesforce relationships and uh, please consider it to be one of the most important topics of Salesforce right now. And uh, we'll start with master detail relationship. So as you can see on the screen right now, definition says a master detail relationship is a strongly coupled relationship, meaning if the parent is deleted, so are the child records, whichever security setting you choose for the parent record, the child record inherits, right? Now, uh, this definition and everything looks good but you might have this question that okay you know what i want to basically understand the significance of master detail so as i always say that i believe in going into the dev org practically showing you the concepts and for the for people who do not know what a dev org is please again go to the playlist and watch this video wherein i talk about what is a dev org and how to create one this is very important if you want to learn salesforce in detail now let's go to uh, the setup and how do you go to setup? You click on the gear icon here and you go to setup. And as the name suggests, master detail, right? So master detail says that there is master and there is child. There is master and there is detail, right? So parent, child, master detail, master, child, one and the same thing, right? So when you create two, two fields in a manner that one field existence is dependent upon the other field, that is when the master detail comes into the picture, right? I'll give you an example on the UN, then we'll see the field in picture. So I have an object, which is enrollment. Now, again, if you do not know what an object is, what fields are, what different fields are, please go to the playlist, start from the very start, and you'll be able to make sense of what I'm talking about. Cool, coming, coming again. So let me go to the enrollments object. Let me open any record right and uh, let me show you this particular course right so course and enrollment are master details how so let's first of all go to the back end in the in the setup that is by clicking on the gear icon you search for enrollment object here right and uh, you click on fields and relationships and uh, herein you see the course field right so there is a field on the enrollment object with the name of course right and uh, now if you see it clearly it says the data type is master detail now what is the significance i'll give you an example so let's suppose there is a course salesforce testing right consider this course is named as salesforce testing now uh, enrollments is an object that captures the detail of the students which is Shivani here, enrollment time, which is full time and the enrollment number that is an auto number, right? Now you might have this question in your mind that if Salesforce is a course and if n number of enrollments are done to a particular course, then what happens if a course is deleted? That is in this case, course is a parent 
and enrollment is a child right so what happens if the salesforce course is removed from its existence do you think that the significance of enrollments matter i would say no right one more example let's suppose you have a property on the market and the real estate agent is selling that property right and uh, that that particular property is on on the sale right now and there are four to five probable people who can buy it the prospects or the opportunities as we call it in the sales force terms now let's suppose in case it was your property and you all of a sudden told the real estate agent that you know what i don't want to sell it i want to grab it again right so there was a master detail relationship between that property and that particular uh, uh, those those particular opportunities right so if the property is not there on the sale right now does it make sense to keep the opportunities record in the system of course not right same is the case here if the course is not there then what is the sense of those enrollments that were already done so that is where master detail relationships come into the picture as soon as you go ahead you delete this particular sales force record as soon as you delete that the related enrollments that is two will be deleted automatically let's see it in action now you click on this and we'll we'll keep this open for reference and i will go ahead and i will delete this right and uh, yeah it's done now if you remember this particular enrollment had the salesforce course related right now let me go ahead and refresh and it will i'll see if i am able to see this record or not see looks like there's a problem unfortunately there was a problem please try again if the problem continues this means that as soon as my master record of the course was created the particular child record got deleted automatically all the child records got deleted that is the power of master detail and you should know wherein to use master detail relationships it is done in a case wherein the child or the detail records are completely dependent upon the master record see this is the course this is the enrollment and this is a master detail relationship so i hope that master detail relationship is clear to you now let's go on to lookup relationship now a lookup relationship is basically opposite to the master detail relationship that is two fields or two objects are correlated to each other but there is no i would say uh, necessity or dependence in a way that if one record is deleted the other one will be deleted as well no it's not there now let me introduce you to schema builder to make you help better understand this now what is a schema builder you would say basically a schema builder is something wherein you know you as you grow in your career in salesforce and as you work on the live projects you'll realize that there are n number of objects in any project right as you can see right now here now if you want to analyze the relationship between two objects specifically what do you do you use schema builder wherein it will give you a relationship picture a pictorial way like this right so i went into schema builder from setup i in the quick find i searched schema builder and this opened right of course if you were not able to see how it happened do a rewind and see it now let me see if i am able to see the two records in in the connection in the picture right now which is task and user right now let me go ahead and let me search for task and uh, let me search for user here right see now do you see this relationship between the two and do you see this small box at the right side which says lookup relationship with this particular line and uh, master detail with this particular line right so if you see it closely these fields are associated with each other see got it now this is the significance of lookup relationship that is if let's suppose a task has a user again of course it will have right let me navigate you to the task object see i will open any one record let's see if there is only any open task if not then we'll create a new one so uh it seems there is no task so we'll create a new one let me create one task with any random data so i will click on save and it is assigned to and it is related to okay now we'll save it okay now see the task record now there is a really lookup relationship between the assigned to field or between the user field and the sorry between the user object and the task object as you can see on the schema builder right now correct now 
I'll tell you one thing. If I delete this particular task, do you think that this particular user will be deleted? No, it won't. Let's see it in action. I will go ahead and uh, see, this is the user here, right? And this user has been assigned this particular task of call. Now, if I click on delete and uh, this record got deleted successfully. Now let me go ahead and let me open and refresh this record again. See, the record stay as it is. That is the power of lookup relationship. So you have to understand that lookup and master detail are exactly opposite to each other. That is what lookup relationship is. Now, third, which is a bit less talked about and you know, you honestly, you won't be using this a lot or seeing this a lot, but you should know this because hierarchical relationships is a unique relationship in which one object is related to itself, right? And we'll read the definition here. It says this unique relationship can only be used on the user object and it is designed to create a hierarchy of users. For example, it could be used to create a lookup field from the user object, which can be used to list the user's manager. Now understand this thing. Let me go ahead and let me remove the task object from here and we'll see. See. Do you see a strange line going from the user object again to the user object, right? In Salesforce, there is only and only one object that is the user object that correlates to itself. And that, and this relationship or this object is so unique that it has a specific relationship named after it, which is hierarchical, hierarchical relationship, right? So this, where is this used? You might ask. So in an organization, if you're working in an organization, in a college, if you're in a college right now, or if you're in a, in, a, in a corporate organization right now, you might have a lot of people in the hierarchy, right? You, you have you have yourself, then you have your manager and everybody, right? So you have to have some people above you and below you in the hierarchy, correct? So in that case, the, you know, correlating those users with each other is the case and is the necessity of the hierarchical relationship. That is what hierarchical relationship is. I know it can be a bit complicated to understand, but if you face any difficulty in understanding, I would suggest please rewind and see it again. And I'm quite sure you'll be able to make some sense out of it. So this is what types of sales for relationship are, which is master detail, lookup and hierarchical relationships. And I hope that I was able to make some sense out of these uh, important topics. Go through these once again and if you have any questions any queries please feel free to reach out via comments or via email that we have provided publicly and we assure you to get back to you within 24 hours and uh, thank you so much for watching we are creating content continuously specifically to this playlist so stay tuned follow us subscribe to our channel and i hope that we make your salesforce journey awesome thank you for watching and see you again